Hello, beautiful divine souls. Welcome to Goddess of Rebirth or Goddess Unleashed, the podcast where we delve into the intricate tapestry of human relationships. I'm your host, Monica, and today's episode touches on a very sensitive topic that resonates deeply with many of us family relationships, estrangement, and the weight of cultural expectations. As we navigate through the celebrations of Chinese New Year, a time rich in tradition and family reunions, it's vital to acknowledge that not all gatherings are filled with joy for everyone. For some, these reunions bring daunting expectations and challenging conversations about marriage, children, and financial success. Through stories shared by friends and acquaintances, it's clear that the level of shaming and pressure exerted by parents and elderly relatives can be sometimes overwhelming. These experiences are not just uncomfortable, they can be traumatic. First, let's define trauma. Trauma, in its broadest sense, refers to the emotional response someone has to an extremely negative event. In the context of family, this can stem from constant criticism, shaming, or the persistent disregard for personal boundaries. This episode is a tapestry woven from the experiences of those around me, and while each journey is unique, the common threads of expectation and the burden of fulfilling them are strikingly similar. So, how do we navigate these situations? How can we maintain an embodied, grounded state of mind amidst the chaos of judgment and unmet expectations? First, it's important to set boundaries. Remember, it's okay to say no and to steer away the conversation from topics that make you feel uncomfortable. Practicing mindfulness and grounding techniques can also be incredibly helpful. Before entering a potentially stressful family gathering, take a moment to center yourself. Deep breathing, visualization, or even a brief meditation can be a powerful tool. And it is also okay to seek support. Talking to a friend, a therapist, a support group, these things can provide you with the strength and perspective needed to handle the situation. Let's dive a little deeper into the heart of our conversation today. When we talk about family and cultural expectations, particularly in the context of Chinese New Year, there's a rich yet complex tapestry of tradition and obligation that many people grapple with. In many families, this time of the year is not just a celebration, but a period of intense scrutiny. For those who feel they haven't met the expectations, these gatherings can become a source of anxiety and shame. The constant comparison with other friends or relatives, the subtle and sometimes not so subtle jabs can chip away at one's sense of self-worth. But let's pause and ask ourselves, why do these expectations exist? Much of it is rooted in cultural and historical norms where success and status have been traditionally valued. However, as the world evolves, so do our understanding of success and happiness. It is important to recognize the generational differences in perspectives. Our parents and grandparents grew up at a different time with different challenges and societal pressures. This does not excuse hurtful behavior, but it can help us understand where they're coming from. So how do we bridge this generational gap? Communication is the key. Though it's often easier said than done. Approach these conversations with empathy and openness, but also with firmness about your own boundaries and beliefs. Sometimes these conversations might not lead to immediate understanding or change, and that's okay. Change often takes time, especially when it involves challenging long-held beliefs and norms. And what if these conversations become too much? It's perfectly valid to step away, to give yourself space. Self-care isn't selfish. It is necessary. It's about preserving your mental and emotional well-being. As we navigate these complex family dynamics, let's also remember to extend compassion to ourselves. You are not alone in this journey. Many share similar experiences and there's strength in that shared understanding. I also feel it's important to share a bit of my own story and why this topic resonates so deeply with me. My decision to talk about family expectations and the burden they can carry isn't just a professional curiosity. 
it's deeply personal. My cultural background, though I'm not Chinese, shares many similarities in terms of familial, familial values and expectations. I grew up in a family where the beliefs around the importance of gatherings and reunions and staying together and the idea that we never turn away from family no matter what are deeply ingrained. So I understand some might feel hesitant hearing a foreigner speak about these issues. And please know that my intention is never to dictate what should or shouldn't be done. Rather, it is to share a perspective. While coming from a different culture finds many parallels and resonance in the Chinese experience. Understanding my own family's baggage, its roots, and how it affected me has been a journey of growth. It has helped me become not just more understanding, but open and also more empowered. I've learned to be true to myself, not just the version that satisfies others' expectations. And this has also given me the space to explore who I really am, what my mission and my purpose in this life is without feeling that I need to please all the people's image of me. And so this conversation isn't just about exploring cultural norms or challenging expectation. It's about understanding. It's about finding common ground. And perhaps th uh, through that understanding, finding ways to grow into our most authentic selves. So as we continue, remember that this isn't just a dialogue about cultures. It's a universal conversation about family expectations and self-discovery. It's about navigating the delicate balance between respecting our heritage and honoring our individual journeys. As we wrap up today's episode, I want to honor the courage it takes to navigate these complex family dynamics. While traditions and family expectations hold significance, your individual journey, your happiness, and your mental health are just as important. Balancing these isn't always easy, but it's a journey worth taking. Remember, your worth is not defined by the expectations of others. Thank you so much for joining me on Goddess Unleashed or Goddess of Rebirth. If you found this episode meaningful, please share it with someone who might benefit from it. Until next time, stay grounded and true to yourself. I am thrilled to have you in my circle and I am buzzing with excitement to conjure up some magic together. Remember, in Goddess Unleashed, we don't just talk the talk, we walk the mystical walk. Tune in and transform with me. Until next time, keep your spirits high and your magic untamed.